and welcome to this video. This is gonna be a really long one, so I encourage you to clean along with me or grab your favorite hot drink and relax and just enjoy and soak up this cleaning motivation. We've got lots and lots to get done today. Here's a few befores so you understand where I'm coming from. I had company over and while they didn't really add to the mess, I didn't really clean anything up while they were here either. Now, I cannot wait for you guys to see all these messes get cleaned. Before I start, I'm just going to be lighting this vanilla scented candle I got from Aldi's. It's really putting me in the Christmas mood right now, even though it's not quite Christmas, and this was actually before Thanksgiving. I'm just wanting that vibe while I clean everything to smell amazing. And speaking of everything, this is the wreck of a room that I haven't touched for an entire week while I had guests. I'm going to start with my bed, clean some things up, and tidy everything, and then vacuum. And as long as the sun Shines upon us And I just wanna be where you are Put your hand up if you do a lot of laundry and then save it all to fold at once And when you hold me All my wounds are healed When I'm with you I feel safe sure what it is with my kids affinity to flip over this footstool and almost completely destroy this rocking chair every day. It gets really annoying though. But since they do that, it can't really be my catch-all, so my catch-all ends up being this dresser. This is where I put all my clean clothes or those clothes that are halfway dirty that I don't want to put in the clothes hamper but I don't really want to hang up again. I usually end up stacking it there until I finally decide to hang it up again, like my robe nicer dresses, things like that. No fear And when you hold me All my wounds are healed When I'm with you I feel safe There is no pretending No need to escape under my humidifier because it tends to get a little moist around it if I have it up too high and turning this on would have worked a lot better if it was actually plugged in. Now I'm just going to add one more load to this mountain of laundry and then get to washing my sheets. I guess if I was ever sentimental about appliances I would be glad that I got this particular washing in this video because this is actually the last wash that I ever did with this washing machine. We ended up, our landlord got us a new washing machine because this one was on the fritz. Also, recently I got this new fabric softener. It smells different than you would think a Chris Fall Air would, but I love that it's from the Drops brand. I really, I've been seeing that around. I really wanted to try it out. I like it, but it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. This is not sponsored by them. I feel no fear, and when you hold me, all my wounds are here. No pretending, no need to escape And I know I just want to be where you She came from kind of 
turn me upside down. So lately I've been using drops of lavender on my vacuum filter. As I vacuum, it spreads the scent of lavender all around the house. And I was just wondering if you guys do anything like that. And if you do, let me know what it is. I really want ideas to change it up and make my whole house smell good while I'm vacuuming. What the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? This is the part of the show where I thought I was going to be cute and show a whole bunch of dirt coming out of my vacuum, but I actually just dumped it all over my foot and realized that it was a lot grosser than I thought. So now I'm just going to grab these dishes from my bedroom and get to the huge pile of dishes in my sink. Having people over really doesn't make a huge difference in the amount of dishes. It just made me less inclined to clean it up. That includes everything on the counters as well. We had game nights. We had a few extra people over as well. The recipes and everything everywhere. So now I'm just going to be straightening that up, wiping down, cleaning things up a little bit in there, and then doing the dishes. Talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost it? While I was distracted with friends, my daughter drew with pencil on my counter and my regular cleaners weren't really getting it up for some reason. So I just used this magic eraser off brand from the Dollar Tree and it worked really well. I just let it dry and put it back in the box after I was done. That's how you know you've been in love. big plans for those pumpkins sitting there on the counter. I was going to make pumpkin pie, but that did not happen. They're still sitting on my counter. I guess I'm probably going to cook them and freeze them, but pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving did not happen at my house. My mom made it, but not from those pumpkins. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night with her, sprinkle one of my t-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Try while I'm cleaning my counters to dust off my jars and wash my backsplash, but it doesn't always happen. Thankfully, this time it happened. Makes for a better cleaning video, am I right? Recently, I found this Pledge antibacterial everything kind of cleaner and it works a lot better. Some of you may have seen the video where I did Pledge, basically Pledge furniture polish on my stainless steel. It worked really well to shine it up, but this works even better and I don't have to clean it first. How we used to be before anyone heard of you and me. Now I'm just going to be putting all these dishes away, including the ones in the dishwasher, reloading the dishwasher, and then moving on to the floors. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. Running out of town just to celebrate. The fortune's here to stay. A one-way ticket to a better day. A rocking chair and a glass of wine. In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine. There's not a lot to ask. I recently read an article about running the dishwasher twice and the gist of it was when life is getting you down and you just feel super unmotivated, go ahead and run the dishwasher twice. Let things take care of themselves or let them be for just a little while and don't stress too much. And I really liked that. I definitely am guilty of running the dishwasher twice when it's the least of my worries. Don't try to Another 
another part of that dishwasher article was talking about just throwing things haphazardly into the dishwasher. And while I don't remember exactly what that particularly applied to, I know that I related with that just because I throw things so haphazardly into my dishwasher and sometimes I have to run it twice just because of that, but that's okay. It just takes care of itself while I have a little less stress because there was a few more dishes in the dishwasher instead of sitting in my sink. So now what I want to know is are you a tidy dishwasher loader or are you a haphazard dishwasher loader? On this day, instead of letting my dishwasher run twice with the same load, I actually just decided there was enough dishes that I was going to wait and reload the dishwasher later while I took care of some other things like this greasy stove. Our landlord recently got us a new stove as well as a washer and so I vowed to myself to keep this one grease free. If you've watched any of my prior cleaning videos, you may have heard me say that the people before me that had that other stove didn't clean it very well and all I could do was maintain what I was able to do on it instead of having it perfectly clean like I wanted. And so with this one, I have just made a promise to myself to keep it super clean. I used a degreaser de first and then I switched to that pledge all purpose to shine it up. My oven was actually on. Things were drying on there very quickly. It didn't get as shiny as I wanted it to. So I went back with a wet rag and did a rinse after but I think with the oven on, it just didn't get as perfectly clean as I wanted. Things were drying too fast, but it was okay with me. A lot better than my old stove. But I can see that you don't realize, and that's what made me fall. to another disaster zone which was the table this was a little bit before when I actually filmed the cleaning so there was a few more dishes on the table at the time but my table is pretty rough most of the time it always needs a good scrubbing I don't know about you guys but it's just the center of everywhere where we sit to do anything plus food so it always needs a good wiping down that's why I like that Clorox cleaner with bleach I feel like it gets everything off without leaving any sort of a smear or any sort of streakage behind. And that's the way you want to take care of your table. Take care of your table and you'll always have the place to sit with friends and family, especially on special occasions and holidays or with company. That was what cleaning that table was bringing back for me was memories of having company and those good times. Every day we do this love for love. I'm not gonna say that I didn't clean my son's high chair for a whole week, but I will say that it definitely needed a thorough deep cleaning, like a detail clean after that week of just basically brushing it off so we could move on to something else. So that's what I'm doing here. It just needed a thorough, super thorough clean after a whole week of not getting that depth of cleanliness. because my kids live here so that's why I'll be cleaning up all these toys out of my kitchen so that I can do the floors next. I say that because I love them I would never have it any other way. I was aiming for a super thorough sweep here because my daughter dropped a glass dish and it shattered all over my floor the other day so even though we had cleaned up from that I had vacuumed and swept before I was still finding glass. 
So I tried for a super thorough clean on my kitchen floors on this day. I think it helped a lot. I haven't seen any glass since then. Yeah. We've been on and off, in and out, up and down, too many times. Now it's time, show me what you got. Don't say that the little things, I say that's a big old thing. Anything to hear you say. about halfway through a room before I flip my mop head over. I think it gives it a much better streak free clean whenever you're cleaning with the clean side of course and you see how dirty that side is. I just couldn't carry on cleaning with that same side throughout the whole room. I do this with my living room too but I only have one microfiber mop head so I washed it in between my kitchen and my living room so I did the living room much later in the day because of that but I think it is worth it to clean the floor thoroughly. It's time for you and me, baby, to make up our minds Don't say that's the little things, I say that's a big old ring Anything to hear you say I the living room. I had a giant box that we had cut doors and windows in for the kids to play with from the stove. They loved it but it had definitely outlived its days. It was getting torn up so I moved that out, cleaned up all the toys, swept and mopped at separate times. This is a day and a half clean so I don't do it all at the same time but I tidied things up, pulled some things off the coat rack, folded the blankets and put everything back to the way it was supposed to be. This was a lot more toys than I actually thought was under there. I'll just be sorting the toys from what to keep in the room, what to throw away, and what to put in my kids' room. My son was asleep at this time, so I was putting everything in baskets that needed to go in the kids' room and keeping everything in the living room that needed to stay in there. I don't have a lot of toys in my living room anymore. Well, at least not now that I've cleaned out from under the couches. I just have a small tote and then the rest are in the kids room because we kind of got tired of tripping over things as we were going through the living room. Does anyone else have that problem? favorites even while I'm cleaning so I have to say this was my least favorite of the two couches to clean under I don't know just something about it I guess just because there was more trash or something like that 
but it was nice to get them both cleaned out from under everything was swept and I just felt like the whole room felt and like just was cleaner just because from under the couches was all cleaned out Every day we do this love for life You got a smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me My kids pretty much lived in this box for a day or two Until the glamour wore off of it so it was pretty rough and there was quite a few toys even after a week of this thing being up. So now I'm just going to be using my dollar store glass cleaner cleaning all the smudges and fingerprints off of this big window in my living room. Sorry it's a little fuzzy but I was trying to get the light right and everything and I just couldn't check it. So that's what I'm doing here. All the smudges, all the fingerprints, gone. Hope you guys don't mind that we're moving really fast. This is my kids room. It was also a wreck. I just decided to start from square one and dump all the toys out and sort it all from scratch. It worked out really well. I felt like it felt a lot cleaner in there as well when I was done, which is of course the point of cleaning and organizing. So I was really excited and happy about the end result of this. I got this bookshelf for them a while back thinking it would be one of those really cute Pinterest bookshelves but I guess my kids have way too many books for them because I don't think it's actually supposed to look like this and it barely holds them all but it does and so I'm really happy that it at least has a lower profile than a regular bookshelf and it keeps all the books off the floor. I went to change the sheets on my daughter's bed but decided just to make it up instead and keep them on there for a few more days because they didn't seem that dirty but I did change them on my son's crib because he has bottles and everything always smells like spoiled milk around him. And of course I couldn't finish without vacuuming their floors and spreading that lavender scent in their room as well. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life In my last video two weeks ago, I ended up taking off the crib liner or bumper pad or whatever you would call that out of his crib and it is so much easier to make his bed now. I feel like I don't have to walk on eggshells around that so as not to tear it down. Oh, even in the 
I bet you guys were wondering where all that laundry from earlier went. This is the night my kids weren't quite in bed, but it was getting late in the evening. And so I decided I needed to clear off my bed and fold the laundry instead of putting it in baskets again. That is the great thing about having a YouTube channel. It kind of keeps you accountable when you don't really want to be. So I'm just going to be folding the towels and the jeans first to get the bulk off the bed so that I have room to fold and sort the rest of the laundry. You and I, we got it. Most of these jeans are my husband's work jeans, but some of them are mine and I actually ended up folding one pair inside out because I noticed that it had a little bit more wear and tear on the stitching and the little jams on the side, so I decided to fold it inside out so it wouldn't get any more while I wasn't even wearing it. And I was just wondering, do you guys fold or hang your jeans? And also, do you end up folding or hanging them inside out if you wash them that way? I am really, really curious on this one. This is what I was thinking about the entire time I was folding them. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh, but then you came and sat clothes and come across something that needs to be hung up I like to lay it out with the shoulders lined up so that I can just put a hanger in fold it down with each item and then grab them all up and hang them all up at once it makes it really easy somehow just when I had about 18 loads of laundry to fold my missing sock bag which is actually just an old bag that sheets came in that is a really probably the best idea I've ever had as far as single socks go. Somehow that bag got mixed in with all of that laundry so I had to go through all of the socks and actually match them up and figure out which ones were supposed to be in that single sock bag trying to find their mate. Now that all that laundry is folded and put away I can finally make my bed. Do any of you guys ever have that moment of truth with your sheets where you second guess yourself about which way they're supposed to go and then it turns out you were right the first time? That definitely happened to me here and it made me realize once again why I heard so much growing up from my parents. I meant to do that because that's what you want to say when you did something a little bit wrong and your kid witnessed it.
were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act now that my mop head is finally washed, I can go ahead and mop my living room floors. Like I said, I get about halfway through and then switch it over so that I have a clean side and it doesn't leave streaks. I made sure to sweep and mop underneath this rug because at last I finally had to admit to myself that it needed it more than I realized. I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight I saved you all the headache of watching me unload and reload my dishwasher again. Instead, I'm just skipping straight to the part where I clean my sink with baking soda and dish soap. I see so many people using about a quarter cup of dish soap in each side of their sink to clean it. And that is just so ridiculous to me. I just use a little squirt and honestly even that is probably just a little too much. Especially with the baking soda. But I do like it because it's kind of like using a soft scrub or barkeeper's friend without actually using the more expensive product like that. A few days after I filmed this video I actually switched my sink to a the kind with the pull down sprayer. And you have no idea how excited I was just to be able to rinse out my sink without using a cup. Now that that's done, I'm just going to make sure it's thoroughly rinsed for all the baking soda and then spray it down with some of that cleaner and bleach to sanitize it overnight. And speaking of overnight, this is the next day. I finally got around to cleaning my bathroom, which was an absolute wreck, just like my bedroom. They're on the opposite end of the house as everything else, so I tend to neglect those the most whenever company is around. So I'm finally getting around to cleaning that. We have a lot of deposits in our water, so our tub, you can see so much more dirt than you can in a regular tub, which is kind of a blessing and a curse. So I'm using some of this cleaner plus bleach and then baking soda. There's no bad reaction or anything and then it scrubs super well and it kind of, I feel like, keeps things away for longer, but that could just be my imagination. Or maybe it's this scrub stick or whatever you wanna call that. I love it to clean this big tub and it really, you don't have to scrub a whole lot. It does the work for you. If you have a big tub, I highly recommend one of these. I think I got mine at Lowe's. So I decided to go ahead and use disposable cleaning wipes for the toilet. That way I don't have to worry about a rag that's touched the toilet going in with the rest of my laundry. But I went ahead and used microfiber cloth and then that cleaner plus bleach for the rest of the bathroom, including the counters and the sinks. And at the end of this tube of wipes, I actually just threw that disinfectant into the toilet instead of using toilet cleaner this time. I don't know if that really counts as soap, but it worked for me. It got the, the things that needed to be up, up, except for the rust stains. And I am actually going to look into Lime Away for those, but I haven't gotten any yet. A sweet woman mentioned that in the comments of my last video and I am so excited to see if it works in my toilet. 
My husband has told me time and time again that he is pretty sure that 90% of the clutter on the counter is mine. And I guess I kind of have to admit that I put things down rather than putting things away a lot, especially in the bathroom where I feel like no one will see it. So I've cleaned that up and now I'm going to be cleaning the sinks and putting everything else back to order. Before I clean, I just like to spray on that bleach and cleaner and let it sit to sanitize things and then I'll be rinsing and wiping it off. Whenever I can, I like to work from top to bottom, and so I'm going to be cleaning the mirror, and then the counters, and then the floor. I took this toothbrush holder off the mirror as well to clean whenever I clean the sinks. Like so many things in my house, this mirror came from my grandparents' house, and while it may not be the conventional mirror on the wall, I really love it, and every time I clean it, it reminds me of them. Ain't you tired of thinking we can get through anything? This giant mirror on the other side of our bathroom is actually the mirror that's supposed to be on the wall. Right now, it's precariously leaning up against the wall, and it probably needs to go to a better home soon, but for right now, it works. We keep the kids away from it. I feel like we're just a little bit afraid to move it in case it breaks somewhere that we don't want it to. one that keeps some jewelry in the bathroom where when I'm standing there at the end of the day about to brush my teeth or my hair I take it off and I just leave it there and then when I do videos like this I realize there's 30 things in the bathroom of jewelry that don't need to be there everything that I can into these baskets and sweep and mop the floor. I reserve the smaller attachment for my steam mop 
for the bathrooms because I don't want to mix up mopping the rest of my floors with the bathroom floors. Everybody knows it's a lot less sanitary. So I just save the smaller mop head for the bathroom since it's a smaller floor area to cover. It works really well. I never really end up needing it for anything else anyways. I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done on my trick at this page. Keep in mind, this was just a few days before Thanksgiving, and so I was cleaning out my fridge. I'm not really sure what I was doing it for, other than something had dripped all down in it. I had in the back of my mind that I was making room for leftovers, but after Thanksgiving, I didn't have any leftovers because I didn't cook. So other than that, it just feels good to have a clean fridge. It really, really needed it. As you can see, I'm following pretty much procedure for this fridge cleaning. I just took everything out that had something spilled on it. I tried at first to wipe up what had spilled, but then I finally decided just to go ahead and take out those trays and wash them. The drawers didn't actually have anything on them or in them really, so I was able to just wipe off the few drops that got on them, but these I actually took out. There's really no dignified way to video washing a giant fridge shelf in your little tiny sink and so I just kind of glazed over that part but you guys know they got clean you're a witnesses they definitely needed it and they definitely got clean and the fridge looks and smells so much better now Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. ended up bringing on the big guns for this, meaning the wet sponge, because it just was not coming up. I honestly don't even know what this was. It was not coming up with the paper towel and the cleaner. Had to bring in the big guns. Small talk, big thoughts. All we wanted was to escape. This sounds too small for dreams like this. Don't want to settle down. that the fridge is super sparkly clean again I can go ahead and put everything back in that is definitely my favorite part of this very unpleasant chore in my opinion Hope you guys didn't think I was stopping there because nothing like having some company to make you realize how dirty your house is sometimes. 
and I realized while they were here that my house had some ceiling fans that I really needed to pay more attention to. So I'm using that Pledge all-purpose cleaner as a dusting cleaner for the ceiling fans. I'm starting with the glass, not because I wanted to go from bottom to top, that's just how it ended up. I just wanted to make sure the glass was streak free and didn't have dirt from the blades on it when I cleaned it last. So that's why I did that first. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were extremely motivated by this video. I know there was so much cleaning done and I hope it helps you get all of your cleaning done, whether it's before or after the holidays or just some cleaning that needs done anyways. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is me wishing you guys happy holidays and stay tuned for the next video. Oh.